Hey, what is going on, fam? So we're back again today. We're working on a bet. I got something I'm super excited about, and that is this MST two step part number 8733. So, like, this uh, two step kit is like it works for multiple applications that use LS's, Camaros, um, you know, like Chevy trucks, all that good stuff. Like, it can work with all of those. So, I'm gonna do a how to install up on this. So, and the reason why I got this two-step, to be honest, the inner ricer in me was calling too hard. I've always wanted to two-step and shoot flames. So, this is the first step to shooting flames. Next one be my cam and my catless long tubes. And I'll be shooting flames. <laughs> but let's get into it. Um, and so the first step is gonna be to route this power wire right here. So I think I got a pretty nifty way of doing that, and I'll explain it to you once I'm done. I wish I could say I came up with some elaborate way to get this down to the clutch switch, but I did not. So I'm gonna tell you what I did. All I pretty much did was run it through here, through here, through the door jam. And down to the clutch wire so I didn't hook it all up yet so that's gonna be the last step hooking it up but I want to explain a little bit about the actual MSD itself right and so the blue wire right here coming out the MSD and so this wire is used if you would be connecting this wire directly to a switch so we're not gonna be using the blue wire, we're gonna be using the white and blue wire. And so the white and blue wire is used if you wanna connect it to your clutch line or your brake pedal. So that's the one we'll be using. So what we are gonna do now is we are gonna hook up these connectors here. So what these connectors do is they tie into your coil packs. So you have this connector and for your left angle coil packs and then that one for your right bank. So these don't matter like what side you hook them up, any side is fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those hooked up now. All right, cool. So we got all the wires hooked up. That coil pack, that one. So after about two days on and off, as you can see, I'm in different clothes, of trying to get this two step to work correctly. So I realized that I needed to hook it up to the blue connector. And so the blue connector is supposed to work off of a ground, right? And then the blue and white connector is supposed to work off a 12 volt source. So the instructions said to use the blue and white one, but that one didn't work. So try the blue one and voila, it works how it's supposed to. So I'm gonna show y'all right now where you need to hook it up to. So in the C5 specific, right? You have two clutch pedal switches one right here straight ahead that's for starting the car the other switch is way at the top up here so if you uh get in here and put your hand in there and you'll be able to fill it at the top i already disconnected it and it's this connector right here right so what i did is i t-spliced into the grayish green wire right so I T-place into that, and then I have my blue wire right here with this little connector up on it that just plugs straight into there. So as soon as you plug that into there, or however like you splice it, however you feel fit, and you can plug this back in. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this back in, and then we can try the two-step. Okay, and so I have the key and the ignition and the ignition switch on. As you can see, the light to the two-step is on. So we're gonna go ahead and start up the car now. And the light is off. So, when I hit the clutch, the light should engage. And it does. What's up? <laughs> right, and when I hit the clutch, like the light should engage. I let go of the clutch, hit it again, it does engage. So, what that translates to, so, 
Press it down, two steps should be engaged. And it works. Let go of the clutch. And she revs over 3,000 RPMs. And so I have mine set to 3,000 RPMs. I haven't tried it yet, but um, let's get some of that. Let's see again. So just so y'all can see how this mounted, um, I just zip tied all of the wiring harness down to different places. I zip tied the actual box right here to the side. I'm going to change this setup up. I don't really like it that much. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take it out for a ride right quick. Make sure everything is everything. And I'll let y'all know. As y'all can see, the two-step worked pretty good. You know, like I started off at 3,000, then I went down like to 2,700, and then I went to 25. 25 seemed like a good place, like to actually like launch the car. I don't really like, I don't even like, launch my car that much. But if I'm gonna have it, I still want it to be functional. You dig? But um, yeah, man, that's it. That is definitely it. Good day. I'm glad I got that sorted out. But. If you have any questions, like please comment below. Please do like and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? It really helps, but take it easy, I'm out.